Well, a popular drug for weight loss appears to have some significant benefits for the heart. It's called Wagovi. According to a new study from the drug maker behind Wagovi, the drug can reduce the risk of heart attack, stroke, or heart-related death by 20%. And joining me now is Dr. Sun Kim, Associate Professor of Medicine at Stanford, to tell us about that study and how the drug seems to help the heart. So what did you learn from that study, Dr. Kim? Yes, so um, it's a very exciting result. Just for your audience, I just want to mention that the drug is called semi-glutide, and it's branded for two purposes either Azempic for patients living with type 2 diabetes or Wegovy for weight loss. And this drug, semi-glutide, was studied in a population without diabetes at the top dose, 2.4 milligram, which is what's available for the brand Wegovy for weight loss. And this is really the first time we have been able to show that a drug focusing on weight loss can have significant benefits for cardiovascular outcomes. And in these trials, they usually look at a composite outcome. It's called MACE, Major Adverse Cardiovascular Events, and includes death from heart disease, um, non-fatal, meaning not dying from heart attacks, and not dying from strokes. And it reduced the risk by 20%. The population, again, that was studied were people without diabetes, but they had known cardiovascular disease. So we would call this a secondary prevention for people with known cardiovascular disease. But it's a really exciting outcome that none of the other weight loss drugs currently available has been able to show. And it's always been this question as well, if losing weight can have hard outcome benefits, because we do know that losing weight can help certain things. I help manage many patients with diabetes, and losing weight definitely helps improve, improve blood sugar. But this is really exciting that a, a hard outcome, such as cardiovascular disease, was reduced um, through losing weight. And there can be many different mechanisms for this benefit. Um, I mean, one clearly is weight. But with weight, you have improvements in blood pressure, in your cholesterol. So there's a lot of composite changes that occur. And in this study, they also looked at something um, called inflammation, which it's, it's a hard concept. But when you have unwanted weight gain, your body also is somewhat inflamed. And a low-grade inflammation can be um, shown through a, a blood marker called CRP, and that was also shown to be reduced. So overall, this is very exciting news for patients who are thinking about these medications, because the number one question I get besides efficacy is, you know, what are the side effects? Mm -hmm. And I can confidently say that these drugs not only help you lose weight, but can also have heart benefits. So, so what, what, are, what are some of the side effects? Yes, and you know, they've been on the news a lot. So just uh, to remind the audience, this drug mimics a protein that we make called GLP-1 after we eat. And it's an important uh, protein and a hormone that helps control blood sugar and appetite, but it also slows down the gut. And so um, you have slower motility. So the most common side effects can be nausea. Some people get diarrhea, some people get constipated. And so um, you, I would say when you start on these drugs, you need to prepare to be on these drugs. And I really counsel my patients to uh, you know, eat smaller portions you cannot overeat on this drug. And I know this is Thanksgiving week. If you are on this drug and if you feel full, I would definitely stop because if you try to overeat on these drugs, you will get sick. All right, well, always good information, especially as we had in the Thanksgiving. Moderation is always <laughs> yeah. key. Uh, so Dr. Kim, Associate Professor of Medicine at Stanford, thank you very much for joining us. Okay, thank you, Ryan. Happy Thanksgiving.